how are you viewers welcome to another exciting video in this video we will be looking at the august 2020 science paper one question b9 question b9 reads radioactive iodine is used to treat tumors of the thyroid gland it decays by emitting beta particles and gamma radiations Radioactive iodine is used to treat tumors of the thyroid gland. It decays by emitting beta particles and gamma radiation. The beta emitting process is represented by the following equation. We have our equation there. All right. So it's iodine 131 decaying to Xe, which presumably is xenon with the atomic number Z and mass number A plus an electron. So in our own understanding, an electron is a beta particle. Now let's analyze the first question. What is the nuclear number of the new nucleus of xenon formed? What is the nuclear number of the new nucleus xenon formed so they want the nucleon number so before we can do anything we need to look at the laws that govern beta uh, decay now what happens in the nucleus of an atom when um, it emits a beta particle so first and foremost allow me to use this space to explain something so beta particles are emitted by neutron rich uh, elements so beta particles are emitted by neutron rich elements and what actually happens is that during the emission of a beta particle a neutron is converted to a proton okay a neutron so we can have n being converted to a proton. Now remember, a neutron is, is electrically neutral while a proton is positively charged. Now to balance the charges on both ends, an electron, an electron is also formed. This electron is our beta particle. Are we together? This electron is our beta particle. So basically what happens inside the nucleus is that the total number of nucleons remain the same because uh, the nucleon number is the total sum. So when we look at A being the mass number, mass number is equal to number of neutrons plus number of protons. So if a neutron, if one neutron changes to one proton, it means that the total number of protons and neutrons remain the same. Therefore, for beta decay, for beta decay, the parent nucleus X with atomic number Z and mass number A, when it emits a beta particle, what happens is that on the delta, the delta why what happens is that because z the atomic number also represents the number of protons but the number of protons has increased by one therefore it is going to be z plus one but on top the total number of protons and neutrons even if a neutron has gone a proton has appeared therefore the mass number still remains the same now plus now our beta particle which is the electron okay now let us get back to our equation to our equation so in our equation okay what is the atomic number z and what will be our mass number so to find the atomic number, we know that this will be equal to Z, which is 53 plus 1. And this one here remains the same, so it will be 131. So, 
The question is, what is the nucleon number of the new nucleus of xenon formed? So the nucleon number, which is the mass number or the total number of protons and neutrons, is going, is going to be 131. So this will be our nucleon number. We move to part B of the question. We need move to part B and part B reads, part B reads, the half-life of iodine is eight days. The half-life of iodine is eight days. The total dose of iodine given to a patient initially emits, okay, the total dose of iodine given to a patient initially emits 4 times 10 to the power 8 rays per second. How many gamma rays does the total dose of iodine emit each second after 24 days? The key thing here is 1, the half-life. Okay? The half-life. Two, this is the activity at the beginning. So at the beginning, our sample is actually emitting 4 times 10 to the power 8 gamma rays each second. So that is our activity. Then now, they want the activity. Now, how do we know that they want the activity? They're saying, how many gamma rays does the total dose of iodine emit each second, each second, which is the same as here. 4 times 10 to the power 8 rays per second. So it's the activity after what? After 24 days. So the activity after 24 days. This is a relatively simple question. And what we can do is this. At the beginning, the total dose emits 4 At the beginning, it emits 4 times 10 to the power 8. Okay, this is at the beginning. Now, half-life means that after that period of time, the activity should reduce to half of its original value. So we are going to say after 8 days, after 8 days, okay, after eight days, this activity right here, this activity should reduce to half. So after our eight days, this reduces half of four times 10 to the power eight is two times 10 to the power eight. So this is after eight days. After another eight days, this should reduce to half. So, after another eight days, okay, these are days. These are days. So, after another eight days. So, now, why are we going to the next eight days? Because at this point in time, from here to here, it's only eight days. So after another eight days, we go to 16 days. So from the beginning here up to this point here, only 16 days will pass. So after 16 days, the activity should reduce to half of 2, point, uh, two times 10 to the power 8. And what is half of 2 times 10 to the power 8? It is 1 times 10 to the power 8. So after these 8 days, we'll have 1 times 10 to the power 8. What? Rays being emitted each second. But have we reached the 24 required days? No. So we go further. We say another after another 8 days, what will it reduce to? It will reduce half of 1 times 10 to the power 8 will give us 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 8. 
okay? This is after another eight days. All right. So now, 16 days, let's do this. 16 days, we add eight more days. This, at this up to this point, concludes our 24 days. So after 24 days, the activity is 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 8 raise each second. So the answer here will be 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 8 raise per second. So this is the number of rays each second. So uh, if we want, we can say number of gamma rays 0 0.5 times 10 to the power 8, or you can say it's 5, point, or 5 times 10 to the power 7, because uh, uh, the zero point there, if we move the decimal point, it will be 5, and the indice, the power there will reduce. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. At this point in time, I would like to say thank you to all my YouTube followers. Uh, I've been out, uh, not making videos, uh, due to one or two health uh, reasons. However, I will try to keep you updated. For those who are writing, please leave your comment on what you want me to look at. Uh, I will certainly get back to you. I will make the next available video upon your request for those who are writing in the shortest possible time before you write. Otherwise, I wish you all the very best in your exams for those writing uh, the August uh, exams. Uh, thank you very much.